Preston Memorial Hospital offers four locations in Preston County to complete your laboratory tests. Our friendly, qualified staff is happy to serve you in Kingwood, Reedsville, Fellowsville, and now our newest location in Brewston Mills at the Brewston Mills Medical Center, where no appointment is necessary as walk-ins are welcome on Mondays from 7 to 5, Tuesdays through Thursday from 7 to 3.30 and 7 to 11 on Fridays. For directions or questions, give us a call at 304-379-1103. From a simple switch, troubleshooting a problem, a new service, to that backup generator that you'll need in times of emergency. Blake Electric can handle all your electrical needs. They have the experience and knowledge to do it professionally and safely and do the job right the first time. There's been an accident. The emergency has left you with physical trauma and legal issues to deal with. The bills are piling up, and you're overwhelmed. Where do you turn for legal representation? Hi, I'm Paul Easton. And I'm Steve Schaefer. We're attorneys practicing right here in your home county of Preston. Centrally located on West Main Street in Kingwood, just across from McDonald's, the offices of Eastep and Schaefer are an easy drive from anywhere in Preston County. You don't have to go outside Preston County to hire a lawyer with the know-how, the experience, and the knowledge to represent you fairly in a serious personal injury matter. Call us at East Eppen Schaefer at 329-6003 or visit us on the web at www.eastepshaferlaw.com. From humble beginnings, Stone Paving has emerged as one of the premier paving companies in the region. Stone Paving has been doing business for nearly 20 years and provides asphalt paving services to residential, commercial, and highway customers. They're pre-qualified with the West Virginia Department of Highways and have a history of meeting the most demanding schedules. Stone Paving has equipment and personnel that can complete any project, and they're committed to providing quality service at a competitive price. When you're planning your next project, call Stone Paving. At the Landing Dental Spa, our goal is to provide quality dental care in a relaxed spa-like atmosphere. Dental chairs with heat and massage, warm neck wraps, and personal TVs make your appointment as stress-free as possible. Located off the Pierpont exit, now accepting new patients of any age. Call 304-594-2200 today and visit our website at www.com thelandingdentalspa.com to schedule an appointment. The Landing Dental Spa, a healthy smile with peace of mind. Ed B, do you know why I stopped you? Well, your sticker is dead, wires are out your, coming out of your tires, and I heard your brakes squealing from way back yonder. You need to get to the tire ladies, get in alignment, Get the brakes put on this thing, get it inspected, and while you're there, you might as well get your oil changed. And if you don't, next time I see you, you're getting a ticket. Barney, put that bullet away. Rainbow Tire, the tire lady takes care of me. Brown's Mill Grocery invites you to stop by for anything you might need. If you're looking for a quick bite, Brown's Mill has buffet-style pizza, fresh subs, and cold drinks. Fill up your tank and your car's tank, too, with quality gasoline. Snacks, cold drinks, gasoline, anything you might need, you'll find at Brown's Mill Grocery. Brown's Mill Grocery at the corner of the Dogtown Road and Route 92. We look forward to seeing you soon at Brown's Mill Grocery. Happy New Year! Kent and Melissa with Delano's Furniture and Mattress. Celebrate the New Year with us by saving big on our double-sided Made in West Virginia mattress sets. Yesterday's quality meets today's technology. A mattress you can flip. It'll last you year after year. Come, Come experience, experience the Delano's, Delano's difference. difference. The Delano's difference. The Delano's difference. We also have adjustable beds. Become part of the family at Preston Family Pharmacy. It's not just their name, it's their philosophy. They treat you like family. Whether you've just left the hospital or a routine checkup, make Preston Family Pharmacy your neighborhood pharmacy your next stop. The friendly professional staff at Preston Family Pharmacy will make sure that you get the time and attention you deserve for all your pharmacy needs. 
Preston Family Pharmacy is currently accepting all patients. Preston Family Pharmacy, Route 7 across from Walmart, Kingwood. They'll take care of you like family. Well, welcome everybody into the castle once again, January 2018, and the Knights back in action here at home after uh, a tough road loss at Bridgeport and a couple of days uh, in between. Get set to try and get some revenge on the mountain lions from Tucker County. Hi, I'm Steve Blake here tonight with Terry Cochran, as always, ready to take you courtside and bring you all the action of this, another Preston Knight Varsity Basketball Contest. Terry, good to be back in action. Oh, yeah, we finally got to thaw out a little bit, Steve, I think. Today was a beautiful day out in Preston County. I think we even got into the 50s. Yep, and that'll last for a couple days. We go right back in the deep freeze, but in the <laughs> meantime, we get to see some basketball, and that's the important part. Uh, the Knights getting set down here to uh, take on a Tucker County Mountain Lion team that handed them a defeat over there and uh, a tough game to lose because the Knights were in it until about midway in the fourth quarter and then things kind of got unwound. And uh, same sort of scenario that happened at Bridgeport, a game they should have, could have, probably would have won if they kept their wits about them. And uh, it didn't happen. So uh, I think the watchword uh, now at this point is change the culture. We've heard uh, Coach Coon say that before, and I think tonight folks are going to find out what that means. Yeah, I believe so. I think Coach Coots is going to go with a little younger lineup tonight. A little, he, he calls it a little more disciplined and a little more quicker. So well, I, the quicker part I can understand, a little, little smaller, a little quicker lineup. The disciplined part, I guess that's code for these are the kids that want to listen to what the coach says and try to do it. So, you know, it, it's been tough. A couple of years of, of no ups, all downs for the Knights, and they try to turn that around. Picked up a couple of victories, you know, and those were exciting and, and good to have in the book. But I know that they aspire to so much more. Yeah, and a couple – slipped away during this season already and that's what really upsets coach Coons. well i think we're going to take it down on the floor for the starting lineups
Terry, there uh, you have it. The starting lineup for the Knights, uh, four juniors, one sophomore, and uh, put a little bit of a different spin and a new face on things here. Yes, it does. Uh, for Coach Paul Koontz, and we'll see if that pays off. Um, you know, he, he's not the first coach to say, I'm going to look down the bench here to try and find a spark. No. And talking to Coach Koontz tonight is keys to this game is stopping Tucker's number 23, Ambrose. He's the leading scorer for the squad, and they know they have to get in front of him tonight. And also, they need less turnovers, and they want to score on fast break points. Tucker gets a tip. Personal foul goes against Nick Smith, his first. Teams first with just three seconds off the clock here, coming early. Corey Piles had uh, pretty near a breakout game at Bridgeport, despite the fact that the Knights dropped the contest. He scored about 17, I think, down there, and uh, Coach Koontz will be looking to him to provide uh, some offensive punch. Lockery sets up with the, and gets the ball over to Livengood. Livengood to Piles. Now we set back up again, moving Rebello and Nick Smith down low on the blocks. Lockery drives in, gets a shot up. It's partially blocked. Piles with the rebound, a putback, no good. And out of there comes the Mountain Lions. And the Knights here in the early going, Terry, look uh, like they're just trying to create some havoc and, and try to get a couple turnovers, get something going their way. They're going to have to hit the glass hard against this Tucker County squad, not give up a lot of second-chance points. 
So far they're getting beat on the boards, but they'll correct that. Downtown from three, that's Alec Cummings. The Mountain Lions take a four to nothing lead over our Preston Knights. Trying to find Smith down on the blocks. He's set up and he's being guarded closely by Ambrose. Now a drive by Piles. And another personal against Nick Smith. And that's going to be troubling for uh, the Knights. And Coach Koontz is going to have to look real hard at maybe replacing the sophomore here uh, before he gets deep into foul trouble way too early. Tucker moving that ball around the court quickly. Very good and crisp in their passes. They lose the handle that time, and up come the Knights across the timeline. Rundle motion offense. In goes Ethan Livengood drove in, and then a, a shot goes up by Lockery on the rebound. He will score it and go to the line. John Noah Lockery. Rebound out of there by the Knights. Another rebound by Smith. Ball out of bounds. Off of the foot of Brandon Zirk for the Mountain Lions. Now the officials have called a timeout. They're worried about the clock. Maybe not. Yeah, they wanted to get that score corrected, and the two points goes up. All right. Piles inbounds out to Lyman Good. Now Powell's will take one from three, long. Off the back iron, out of there comes Ambrose. He chases himself all the way down the floor. Quickly around the perimeter. Tucker County moving that ball from side to side, looking for an opening. The Mountain Lions right now much more in their comfort zone than the Knights. New starting lineup for Preston tonight. I'm sure these young men have a little bit of the jitters here starting over their seniors that are sitting on the bench. Yeah, they're feeling some weight on their shoulders, uh, some pressure to produce. Now a tie-up in the corner. Nice job by Smith and Lockery. And yeah, John Lockery down there fighting hard for that ball. Has played well uh, on the JV squad and moving up now with an opportunity here. Uh, to play at the varsity level, and uh, he's a real go-getter. Zirk's out front for the Mountain Lions. He's chasing everything at the top of the key, putting a lot of pressure on Preston's guards. They're in a 1-2-2 matchup. Piles got turned around, took one extra step. The ball be back over to Tucker County. Zerk out front leads the Mountain Lions. Looking for that opening. That's where they want it, right at the top, right at the foul line. And that's Ambrose, his first bucket of the night. Just a quick little turnaround, Steve, right? They got him right in at the uh, foul line, right where they wanted him. Turnover Knights, back comes Tucker County. Nice rebound. By Live and Good. Lockery drives all the way in. And he's uh, fouled and will go to the charity stripe. 
get an opportunity to score two with the clock off here, make this a little closer with uh, 340 on the big board. And they go with uh, Wesley Snyder, picks up that personal. It's their first, team second. Locker only one for three from the charity stripe so far. And a big three from downtown. That's Cummings' second tray here in this quarter. As they stretch it to nine to three for Tucker County right now. Preston just got to kind of settle in here, run their offense. Don't push too hard, just try to execute. Live and good, back out to Smith. Now they get Live and good on the cut into the paint and he's fouled. That's gonna be the second personal. Now they called that on 34, I believe Jeffrey Snyder. Wait till it comes up on the board. Foul shooting a problem tonight. And the Knights can ill afford that. That dogged them at Tucker County where uh, they shot poorly. Five and good with the second. Makes it a nine to four score and they cannot leave that young man open from the top of the key. Wide open was Cummings. He's already hit two threes, just barely short on that shot. Right off the front of the iron, but he was wide open. Mites with an opportunity now to pick up a little bit of the slack here. Smith get the ball into Piles. Piles with a turnaround in the paint, no good. Rebound, out comes Tucker. And all the way to the hole goes number 22, Wesley Snyder. 11 to four mountain lines. Piles had it at the elbow extended. Looked like he could have shot from right there. He was wide open, decided to turn it out. As they work their motion offense, back to Smith. He's going to drive in the paint, put up a floater. Good! Nick Smith, nice looking shot. As he drove it down into the paint and just lobbed it in the air, and it tickled the net. 11 6, inside two minutes we go here. First quarter action. Smith with a partial block. The ball goes out of bounds and will go over to Preston. So another good defensive play down on the baseline by Nick Smith to alter that shot. Knights starting to get their feet underneath of them now after this lineup change. Into Smith. Smith misses the pass from Livengood. And streaking yeah. all the way end to end is number 34, or number 24, who just came in a game polling. Tucker County will make you pay for mistakes like that. They got the quick run out there, and now another turnover. And they're off to the races, wanting more transition points. This time, it's the mountain lines that throw one away. And Lockery streaks the other side, ball up on the boards and I think they're going to call a personal foul here on uh, I'm not sure if it's 23 that would be Ambrose that's going to put Lockery to uh, they give it to number 32 okay first one up and good 
Mockery with his second on the way, in and out. It's only two for five from the charity stripe. I believe they're going to need every point they can get tonight, Steve. Well, they simply have to shoot free throws better. They actually did that uh, in at Bridgeport, but then shooting from the floor went away in the last uh, four minutes of the contest and cost them the game. Tussle on the floor across the way over there. Smith lost a handle, and there was a scrum down on the floor for that ball. Piles was in the middle of it. Smith's going to take a breather, looks like. He might have got uh, banged up a little bit. Timeout with 22 seconds remaining on the big board. I believe Jake Livengood has checked into the game, one of the seniors. Now we have Live and Good, Rebello, Corey Piles, <coughs> both Live and Goods. And John Noah Lockery for the Knights. Tucker will have it on the baseline, far to the left of the basket. Heavy pressure, Live and Good outside. On Cummings. Looks like they've switched to a man now. All the way in. Nice layup. Nice basket by Wesley Snyder. He just drove it into the paint and was determined to put it on the glass. And the shot up late as time expires. We come to the end of one. The Knights trailing the Mountain Lions 15-7. As we take this break and get ready for second quarter, Preston Knight action. Coming up right after this, and we'll be back. The transitional care program at Preston Memorial Hospital is an alternative for acute patients who need a little extra help before returning home. Services include physical, occupational, and speech therapy, patient and family education, personal care assistance, individualized care plans with daily activities, and 24-hour nursing care. Our team works to ensure a smooth return to independent living. For more information on the transitional care program at Preston Memorial Hospital, visit us online or call 304-791-3733. From a simple switch, troubleshooting a problem, a new service, to that backup generator that you'll need in times of emergency, Blake Electric can handle all your electrical needs. They have the experience and knowledge to do it professionally and safely and do the job right the first time. There's been an accident. The emergency has left you with physical trauma and legal issues to deal with. The bills are piling up, and you're overwhelmed. Where do you turn for legal representation? Hi, I'm Paul Eastep. And I'm Steve Schaefer. We're attorneys practicing right here in your home county of Preston. Centrally located on West Main Street in Kingwood, just across from McDonald's, the offices of Eastep and Schaefer are an easy drive from anywhere in Preston County. You don't have to go outside Preston County to hire a lawyer with the know-how, the experience, and the knowledge to represent you fairly in a serious personal injury matter. Call us at East Eppin Schaefer at 329-6003 or visit us on the web at www.eastepschaeferlaw.com. From humble beginnings, Stone Paving has emerged as one of the premier paving companies in the region. Stone Paving has been doing business for nearly 20 years and provides asphalt paving services to residential, commercial, and highway customers. They're pre-qualified with the West Virginia Department of Highways and have a history of meeting the most demanding schedules. Stone Paving has equipment and personnel that can complete any project, and they're committed to providing quality service at a competitive price. When you're planning your next project, call Stone Paving. At the Landing Dental Spa, our goal is to provide quality dental care and a relaxed spa-like atmosphere. 
Dental chairs with heat and massage, warm neck wraps, and personal TVs make your appointment as stress-free as possible. Located off the Pierpont exit, now accepting new patients of any age. Call 304-594-2200 today and visit our website at www.thelandingdentalspa.com to schedule an appointment. The Landing Dental Spa, a healthy smile with peace of mind. Ed B, do you know why I stopped you? Well, your sticker is dead, wires are out your, coming out of your tires, and I heard your brakes squealing from way back yonder. You need to get to the tar ladies, get an alignment, get the brakes put on this thing, get it inspected, and while you're there, you might as well get your oil changed. And if you don't, next time I see you, you're getting a ticket. Barney, put that bullet away. Rainbow. Tire, the tire lady takes care of me. Brown's Mill Grocery invites you to stop by for anything you might need. If you're looking for a quick bite, Brown's Mill has buffet-style pizza, fresh subs, and cold drinks. Fill up your tank and your car's tank, too, with quality gasoline. Snacks, cold drinks, gasoline, anything you might need, you'll find at Brown's Mill Grocery. Brown's Mill Grocery at the corner of the Dogtown Road and Route 92. We look forward to seeing you soon at Brown's Mill Grocery. Happy New Year! Kent and Melissa with Delano's Furniture and Mattress. Celebrate the New Year with us by saving big on our double-sided Made in West Virginia mattress sets. Yesterday's quality meets today's technology. A mattress you can flip. It'll last you year after year. Come, Come experience, experience the Delano's difference. The Delano's difference. The Delano's difference. We also have adjustable beds. Become part of the family at Preston Family Pharmacy. It's not just their name, it's their philosophy. They treat you like family. Whether you've just left the hospital or a routine checkup, make Preston Family Pharmacy your neighborhood pharmacy your next stop. The friendly professional staff at Preston Family Pharmacy will make sure that you get the time and attention you deserve for all your pharmacy needs. Preston Family Pharmacy is currently accepting all patients. Preston Family Pharmacy, Route 7 across from Walmart, Kingwood. They'll take care of you like family. Back in the castle as the horn sounds and we are ready for second quarter play. The Knights starting out a little sluggish against the uh, Tucker County Mountain Lions, but trying to get their feet under them and battle back here, see if they can get another home win on the season and get a measure of revenge against Tucker. Andrew Lance enters the game for the Knights. He'll drop back in that forward position. Andrew can light it up when he's hitting. He, he's a very accomplished shooter. So now we have uh, Rebello. Looks like live and good, both live and goods. John Noah Lockery and Andrew Lance in for the Knights. And evidently somebody got a split lip or smacked in the nose a little bit. And the officials call for a little cleanup under the basket down to the right. Yeah, I think Nick was down on the floor. He was in a big tussle and there was a couple mountain lines on top of him gnawing at him. Somebody got popped there. <laughs> a little bit of blood hit the floor and they're going to clean that up. And now they'll call the teams back and we're set for action. Start of the second quarter. Knights down, but not out. Tucker with the ball. And Tucker County will look to go right back to work here. Their first option will be Ambrose. He drives it all the way to the paint. And let's see. They're going to call that on Andrew Lance. Put 
That's Ambrose to the line, left-hander, up and good. First points of the second period. He's a polished free throw shooter, Terry. Gets that head up, gets his eyes on the target, and then lets go of the ball. Tucker in that 1-3-1 one, one defense with Ambrose out front, making it hard on those Preston shooters. Now Lance will pop one from three in and out. Liven goes right there to clean it up, misses the putback. Tucker to the races. Off the glass, Livengood cleans it up. Nice rebound. Here they come. Rebello tries to get it in bounce and into the paint. And the ball is kicked and will be out to Preston. Had a good break inside by uh, Preston. Another shot by Lance in and out. This would not go. Long pass down floor. But Lance was there to stop that. Tucker will reset. Snyder was not going to be denied. He just went to hard to the basket. Gets fouled and goes to the charity stripe. He's good on his first attempt. Preston now trying to find the key that will unlock this puzzle and get the offense ignited. Jake Livengood spinning into the paint there in contact, and we get a whistle, and that will put him on the line as he drew a crowd of three there trying to get that ball in front of the rim and put up an easy shot. Never really was able to bring that ball up far. It's Cameron Wamsley's second personal. Lot of good both free throws down the hole. Down the hatch. Nice. Makes it 19-9. A 10-point deficit here for the Knights to try and overcome. And they've got about six minutes in which to do that here before the half. Out of there comes Lance. Nice steal down on the floor. Oh, quick pass over to Rebello, and he lays it in. Beautiful pass by Andrew Lance. That's what that young man can do for you. Out of control was Wesley Snyder. He loses the ball out of bounds to the Knights. He just was completely out of control when he went down into the paint. Yeah, hit the ball off, uh, off his leg and out, and he hit the floor hard. They're trying to trap Live and Good out front. He kicks it over. Now Live Good drives to the base, right into the blocks. He's fouled, goes to the line. Jake just made up his mind. He was taking that in to the boards. Yeah, with his combination of size and quickness, he changes the dynamic a little bit for Preston offensively here and matches up well against Tucker County. 
just having a hard time, as are all the Knights, finding the bottom of the net here early. Just them both. Two for four from the line. First two attempts was nothing but net. It didn't look so good on the last two. Now a little stop and pop. Ben Cromer. Cromer gives Tucker their 21st point. Now Piles is going to pick one from three. Good from downtown. Corey Piles. Bello with the rebound. Gets it to Lockery. Lockery looks good out there. Nice stop, stop and pop. Rebound piles. Live and good fighting hard for the ball. Back comes Tucker. They let him get inside the just the left side of the elbow, and, and he's pretty deadly right in that spot. Have to find a way to contain that action. Back down they go to Jake Livengood. He turns, spins on the rim, just does not roll in. Jake's starting to mount up some fouls against Tucker County. They're having a hard time containing him in the paint. He's just got to get some of those to drop. And right now, the free throw uh, glitch is in all their heads. Yep. They're four for 10, 11, five for 11. He's missed his last four free throws. Up on the glass, Cummings scores it for the Mountain Lions, and they stretch that lead back out. Preston was making some progress. Lockery spins out, gets it to Lance. Lance in and out. And a fight for the rebound. The personal foul is going to go against Our number 22, Matt Thomas. And that quick shot moving side to side, that's. That ball was down deep in the cylinder, came rattling uh -huh. right back out. Oh, they left Ambrose all alone. Nice give and go that time from Cummings to Ambrose. Trying to get the ball to Jake Livengood. Now Piles will take a three off the mark. Kept alive by Lance. Back to Lance. He's going to take a three. And it bounces in. We finally get a roll as Andrew Lance delivers a three, a well-needed three. And a fight for the rebound underneath goes out to Tucker County. That was a big basket for Preston coming as it did after about uh, two minutes of no score from the line or from the floor. And keeping the Knights within 10. Ambrose is an accomplished ball player. You can see he's he gets himself in good position. He's good with the ball off the bounce. Now we get a rebound by Rebel, or that was uh, Lockery for the Knights. He pushes us up the court. They look for Live and Good. And he's being hammered every time he touches the ball. This time they caught Wesley Snyder with his second personal. 
Puts Jake back to the line. Well, you got to start making these. Yeah, that's nine team fouls for Tucker. That's a little better. He got down, bent his knees a little more that time, took a little more time. Ooh, in and out. Looked good. Just didn't stay. Shot by Cummings was short and hit the out of bounds line. So it'll go over to Preston. Down nine. The chance to close the gap right before halftime. Mishandled down there on the left wing. That ball out of bounds. It goes over to the mountain lines. Hayden Park enters the lineup for the Knights. A minute to go in the first half. Oh, and they counted that basket. Ambrose with a circus shot. And it looks like they're going to give it to him. I thought that was long past the, the foul. Should have been on the floor. Yeah. Score it, says the official. So he gets the continuation. And the and one. And they stretch that lead to 29-18. Hayden Park with a big rebound. Now Rebello's in there fighting for the rebound. Tie up ball to Preston. <laughs> Heavy pressure being put on by the Mountain Lions. Time running out in the period. Looking for Hayden Park. He's set up in the paint. These officials are Ribello with a quick turnaround. Good. Monty Ribello. Knights needed that right before half. Now maybe a steal. Nope. It's another circus shot and a foul called right before the buzzer sounds. And they're gonna they're gonna get number 14. He was Upset that he missed that shot. Cromer fouls Hayden Park, I believe, right as the period ended. Yep. No time on the clock, but Park will get an opportunity to walk down the other end and chuck up a couple from the free throw line. And these are a couple of big momentum uh, builders here to end the first half. We got it down under nine, or two nine. And that will end the half, Steve. Yep. We come to halftime with the Knights trailing Tucker County by a little bit less, 30 to 22, an eight-point deficit. When we come back, Terry Cochran will have some numbers, and we'll get you set for second-half action. But in the meantime, these messages from the sponsors that bring you Preston Knight, Varsity Basketball, here on your hometown TV channel. Recent studies have shown that people who complete a cardiac rehabilitation program can increase their life expectancy by up to five years. Preston Memorial Hospital's cardiac rehab team helps you begin and maintain a treatment plan that works for you. They offer education and support to make healthy lifestyle changes that fit your needs. We're here to help you live longer and enjoy life. Most insurance plans are accepted. Please contact your doctor or our cardiac rehab center at 304-329-3429.
from a simple switch, troubleshooting a problem, a new service, to that backup generator that you'll need in times of emergency. Blake Electric can handle all your electrical needs. They have the experience and knowledge to do it professionally and safely and do the job right the first time. There's been an accident. The emergency has left you with physical trauma and legal issues to deal with. The bills are piling up and you're overwhelmed. Where do you turn for legal representation? Hi, I'm Paul Eastep. And I'm Steve Schaefer. We're attorneys practicing right here in your home county of Preston. Centrally located on West Main Street in Kingwood, just across from McDonald's, the offices of Eastep and Schaefer are an easy drive from anywhere in Preston County. You don't have to go outside Preston County to hire a lawyer with the know-how, the experience, and the knowledge to represent you fairly in a serious personal injury matter. Call us at Eastep and Schaefer at 329-6003 or visit us on the web at www.eastepshaferlaw.com. From humble beginnings, Stone Paving has emerged as one of the premier paving companies in the region. Stone Paving has been doing business for nearly 20 years and provides asphalt paving services to residential, commercial, and highway customers. They're pre-qualified with the West Virginia Department of Highways and have a history of meeting the most demanding schedules. Stone Paving has equipment and personnel that can complete any project and are committed to providing quality service at a competitive price. When you're planning your next project, call Stone Paving. At the Landing Dental Spa, our goal is to provide quality dental care and a relaxed spa-like atmosphere. Dental chairs with heat and massage, warm neck wraps, and personal TVs make your appointment as stress-free as possible. Located off the Pierpont exit, now accepting new patients of any age. Call 304-594-2200 today and visit our website at www.thelandingdentalspa.com to schedule an appointment. The Landing Dental Spa, a healthy smile with peace of mind. Ed B, do you know why I stopped you? Well, your sticker is dead, wires are out your, coming out of your tires, and I heard your brakes squealing from way back yonder. You need to get to the tar ladies, get in alignment, get the brakes put on this thing, get it inspected, and while you're there, you might as well get your oil changed. And if you don't, next time I see you, you're getting a ticket. Barney, put that bullet away. Rainbow. Tire, the tire lady takes care of me. Brown's Mill Grocery invites you to stop by for anything you might need. If you're looking for a quick bite, Brown's Mill has buffet-style pizza, fresh subs, and cold drinks. Fill up your tank and your car's tank, too, with quality gasoline. Snacks, cold drinks, gasoline, anything you might need, you'll find at Brown's Mill Grocery. Brown's Mill Grocery at the corner of the Dogtown Road and Route 92. We look forward to seeing you soon at Brown's Mill Grocery. Happy New Year! Kent and Melissa with Delano's Furniture and Mattress. Celebrate the New Year with us by saving big on our double-sided Made in West Virginia mattress sets. Yesterday's quality meets today's technology. A mattress you can flip. It'll last you year after year. Come, Come experience, experience the Delano's difference. difference. The Delano's difference. The Delano's difference. We also have adjustable beds. Become part of the family at Preston Family Pharmacy. It's not just their name, it's their philosophy. They treat you like family. Whether you've just left the hospital or a routine checkup, make Preston Family Pharmacy your neighborhood pharmacy your next stop. The friendly professional staff at Preston Family Pharmacy will make sure that you get the time and attention you deserve for all your pharmacy needs. Preston Family Pharmacy is currently accepting all patients. Preston Family Pharmacy, Route 7 across from Walmart, Kingwood. They'll take care of you like family. Half time in the castle and it's an eight point deficit. Uh, I think Tucker County brought the snow plow with them over here, Terry, but they brought it right in. And they've been kind of bowling the nights over. It's been a little physical in the first half here. I don't know if they uh, sensed the change that Coach Coons was making and, and thought, well, we'll just try to intimidate the youngsters or 
exactly what was going on there, but the officials let them play. Yeah, they did. And it got a little physical, like you said, early in this contest. And then Preston brought in some of the seniors, Jake Live and Gooden, and Hayden Park made an appearance right at the last of that game. Um, I believe w once they get settled back in again, they'll stop that quick uh, run out that the Tucker County's been putting on us. And then it's all about finding a way to control Ambrose, and uh, that would effectively turn down the heat on their uh, their offense and, and maybe give the Knights an opportunity here to get back in position to bring this one home a win. Yeah, um, he scored nine points in that uh, first half, Steve, and he, but he's very accomplished. Uh, he can shoot from inside, outside. He handles the ball well. Um, he's a hard guard for any of our players. They really have to move their feet to stay in front of him. In that second period, they scored 15 points, but we, we matched that. We, we, uh, we also scored 15. Uh, our downfall was in that first period where they outscored us by a score of 15 to 7. So we're down a little bit, but that doesn't mean we're out. No, not by any means. Uh, we've held Tucker to 30 points here in the first half. Uh, the Knights just need to ratchet up the offense here. Uh, the, sh the shooting, particularly from the perimeter, a little disappointing in the first half as uh, we've been unable to find uh, Lance and Piles, the, the spaces uh, that they need to rotate into to get open looks. They're uh, much more comfortable shooting that ball when they can step into it, not moving uh, side to side, particularly Andrew Lance, I thought, took a couple of shots that were close but just off the mark. And had he been able to kind of settle in the way he likes uh, to, to to gauge a shot like that, that would have been probably another six points the Knights could have counted on. We'd be in a much closer contest right now. So I think Preston has got to uh, reiterate uh, to, to the other three, whoever that might be on the floor, that they've got to help find a rotation and, and find Piles and Lance some openings. Um, again, Piles nearly had a breakout game uh, against Bridgeport. Uh, and there you were looking at uh, playing against maybe the, the number three, number four double A team in the state. And he went toe to toe and, and acquitted himself very well. So if he can get untracked in the second half here, um, if Lance can find the range a little bit from three, uh, and if Jake Livengood comes back in there and proves to be the force that we know he can be uh, in the post, I think the Knights have a good opportunity to overcome this eight-point deficit and uh, get this back into a, a competitive situation. I'd also like to see Hayden Park get back in. He, when he came in right at the end of that period, he, he had a lot of uh, bounce in his step. And I, I've seen him play when he's – up like that, and he can be a dominant force down low in the paint. So I'd like to see a little more of Well, he, he can. He can. And I also thought that uh, coming up uh, from the JV to the varsity, uh, John Lockery acquitted himself very well in the first half. Shows that he has uh, the ability to run the offense. And uh, I think that's something that uh, maybe Preston can rely on. Uh, if they wanted to go to a three-guard sort of a set with he, Piles, and uh, uh, Lance, uh, I think uh, Lockery could run that point, bring that ball up, take some pressure off the other two, and again, help them find better situations to score from than the ones that they've been able to get us a duo. I'd like to see Ethan Livengood break out, too. I know the young man can shoot the ball if he can just get open enough to to get that shot. He's been pressing a, a little bit, and I think he just needs to let the game come to him and take the open shots when he has them. Well, we'll see who comes out in the second half. Looks like live and good, along with Corey Powell's, Monty Ribello, um, Ethan live and good, and John Noah Lockery. In just one basket, but I think we'd be remiss if we didn't point out uh, 
the athletic play of Monty Rebello here uh, in that first half as well. Uh, stepping into a starting role uh, again did a very, very nice job uh, fitting into the offense. All the way down, live and good misses the layup. Tucker all but handing a golden opportunity to the Knights oh. right there. Nice pass from Ambrose. They missed the layup. Now comes live and good back again. All the way in scores it. Ethan live and good. That's good to see. Drive by Tucker and down in the paint. Live and good comes out of there with the rebound. It's tipped over to him by Piles. So they get it out front to Lockery. He sets the offense. Different situation in there with uh, Big Jake ready to clean the boards on both ends, but particularly the Knights needed some rebounding on the defensive end of the floor, and he certainly provides that as we get uh, a turnover at the 646 mark. Yeah, Monty saw, thought he saw a scene that he could uh, get through quickly, and it just closed up, and he had to drag a pivot foot. They got him for a travel. Knights in a 2-3 defense with Jake at the high post. Now a steal by Live and Good. And here comes Ethan on a run out the other way. On the glass, misses the layup. Costly error as they bury one on the other end. Tucker makes them pay. With their first points of the second half, big, big three-pointer by Wesley Snyder. Little lapses in concentration, costing Preston dearly here in the early going the second half. Powell's down, and he tried to get it into live and good. It was not a very good pass. A little lazy, and Tucker picked it off. And that causes a personal down on the other end as Lockery had to foul. Yeah, coming back in transition, Lockery just trying to make something happen and get to the ball there. Well, he stopped the ball, but unfortunately he stopped the other player too. 33-24. Tucker. And once again, we leave Cummings open, and we've, he's already buried two threes. Gets his third. Lockery trapped. Ball tipped by Zerk. Out of bounds to the Knights. Piles will inbounds on the far side. Back to Lockery. Lance in the game now. Now they get it into Rebello. Rebello turns around, left hand shot, and he's fouled. Nice. Quick turnaround move by Monty Rebello. He'll get to the line. Off the glass. He, a little kiss. Never hurt anyone, Steve. Yeah, Rebello with his third point here. Trying to make his presence felt on the offense for Preston. Gets the bounce. I got him with eight in the game. 36-26, down to 10. Plenty of time. They just have to be patient. Five good lefties feet way too early. Little ball fake down low on the blocks. Zerk got him up in the air. Now we'll have a sub in for the Knights as uh, Matt Allen enters for the first time. Gives 
Lockery a break. Another three. Tucker trying to drive some spikes in here early. You leave Cummings open, and he's going to drain it. That's his fourth three of the game. Someone's got to get out on top of him. Now Lance takes one of his own from downtown. Andrew Lance. And again, that situation where Lance could find his spot, come off the screen there, settle in. Wow, what an entry pass. They got that ball down quickly to Snyder. Snyder lays it up on the glass. Good. Allen down to Rebella. Rebella with a turnaround shot. No good. And they're going to get live and good with a push in the back on the rebound. He's going to pick up his personal foul. 41-29. Tucker with the advantage. Jake not real happy with that call. Has the presence of mind to just walk away. Get down to the other end and get set. Preston has to get some stops. Out of there with Live and Good. Live and Good. Streaking. Tried to get the ball to Matt Allen. Ball tipped out of bounds by Tucker. And now Hayden Park enters the game for Ribello. So slowly but surely, the seniors are now on the floor. We'll see what they can do. Lance tried to get it into Park. Thought Park was going to step in. He didn't. Tip in down at the other end by Snyder. Two turnovers almost by Lance back to back. Out to Allen. Allen, Corey Piles, Hayden Park, Andrew Lance, Jake Livengood. Livengood to Park. Good! Nice little give and go. Gives the Knights their 31st with just over two and a half to go in the third period. 43-31. Preston has plenty of time here. Just has to play good defense. Rebound well on this end and close it out on the other end with points. Ball up on the glass. They're fighting hard for it. Ambrose down with it, but Live Good stuffs him. Nice block by Jake Live Good, but the ball goes back over to Tucker County. Two minutes, eight seconds remaining in this period. Park with the rebound, and he's fouled immediately by 22. Yeah, the shove from behind. Snyder, and that should be his third. Tucker has no problem in, in bouncing off of you, pushing you. They push the limits to these officials. They play hard. You've got to be ready for that. They hand check you. Now they get it to live and good. Live and good. One step to the basket and lays it in. That was live and good. And back on the other side. I think that was Cummings. Yeah, with the three. It was another three. Yeah, 46-33 the score now. 123 on a turning clock here in the third period. The Knights trying to work the half-court offense. Kicked ball. 
And that'll stay on this end with Preston, taking it out right in front of the night bench. Nice give and go all the way in. Allen streaks to the hole. That Allen's been a little bit frustrated thus far tonight. That kind of vindicates his ability a little bit there and gets him going. Allen with a lot of speed as he cut through the paint. Tucker takes another long three off the top of the backboard, out of bounds to Preston. They keep chipping away and chipping away. Still have one period left. Allen out front. They're looking to trap him. They're in that 1-3-1. One, one. Now it goes to Lance on the baseline. In and out. Live and good. Great rebound and put back. Jake Live and good. Skied over top of everybody else. And lays it back in for two. Those second chance points have been few and far between for Preston. They need more of that action. Personal foul against Brandon Zerk. He got out of control and lost his temper. Dipped his shoulder and uh, gets caught for that personal. That's his second. Into Lance. Lance tried to get it across. They lost the ball. And a long shot right at the buzzer. Just short for Tucker County, Steve. All right. No score at the end there for Tucker, but they got plenty from the beginning to that point. 46-38. Knights trying to get it back close and try to bring this one home. All right. We take a look at the Preston cheerleaders taking the floor here to try and ignite this crowd uh, on a January evening, rather balmy January evening here in the castle. And then we'll take a break and be back for fourth quarter action. Preston Memorial Hospital offers four locations in Preston County to complete your laboratory tests. Our friendly, qualified staff is happy to serve you in Kingwood, Reedsville, Fellowsville, and now our newest location in Brewston Mills at the Brewston Mills Medical Center, where no appointment is necessary as walk-ins are welcome on Mondays from 7 to 5, Tuesdays through Thursday from 7 to 3.30 and 7 to 11 on Fridays. For directions or questions, give us a call at 304-379-1103. From a simple switch, troubleshooting a problem, a new service, to that backup generator that you'll need in times of emergency, Blake Electric can handle all your electrical needs. They have the experience and knowledge to do it professionally and safely and do the job right the first time. There's been an accident. The emergency has left you with physical trauma and legal issues to deal with. The bills are piling up, and you're overwhelmed. Where do you turn for legal representation? Hi, I'm Paul Eastep. And I'm Steve Schaefer. We're attorneys practicing right here in your home county of Preston. Centrally located on West Main Street in Kingwood, just across from McDonald's, the offices of Eastep and Schaefer are an easy drive from anywhere in Preston County. You don't have to go outside Preston County to hire a lawyer with the know-how, the experience, and the knowledge to represent you fairly in a serious personal injury matter. Call us at East Eppin Schaefer at 329-6003 or visit us on the web at www.eastepschaeferlaw.com. From humble beginnings, Stone Paving has emerged as one of the premier paving companies in the region. Stone Paving has been doing business for nearly 20 years and provides asphalt paving services to residential, commercial, and highway customers. They're pre-qualified with the West Virginia Department of Highways and have a history of meeting the most demanding schedules. Stone Paving has equipment and personnel that can complete any project and they're committed to providing quality service at a competitive price. When you're planning your next project, call Stone Paving. At the Landing Dental Spa, our goal is to provide quality dental care and a relaxed spa-like atmosphere. 
Dental chairs with heat and massage, warm neck wraps, and personal TVs make your appointment as stress-free as possible. Located off the Pierpont exit, now accepting new patients of any age. Call 304-594-2200 today and visit our website at www.thelandingdentalspa.com to schedule an appointment. The Landing Dental Spa, a healthy smile with peace of mind. Ed B, do you know why I stopped you? Well, your sticker is dead, wires are out your, coming out of your tires, and I heard your brakes squealing from way back yonder. You need to get to the tar ladies, get an alignment, get the brakes put on this thing, get it inspected, and while you're there, you might as well get your oil changed. And if you don't, next time I see you, you're getting a ticket. Barney, put that bullet away. Rainbow. Tire, the tire lady takes care of me. Brown's Mill Grocery invites you to stop by for anything you might need. If you're looking for a quick bite, Brown's Mill has buffet-style pizza, fresh subs, and cold drinks. Fill up your tank and your car's tank, too, with quality gasoline. Snacks, cold drinks, gasoline, anything you might need, you'll find at Brown's Mill Grocery. Brown's Mill Grocery at the corner of the Dogtown Road and Route 92. We look forward to seeing you soon at Brown's Mill Grocery. Happy New Year! Kent and Melissa with Delano's Furniture and Mattress. Celebrate the New Year with us by saving big on our double-sided Made in West Virginia mattress sets. Yesterday's quality meets today's technology. A mattress you can flip. It'll last you year after year. Come, Come experience, experience the Delano's difference. The Delano's difference. The Delano's difference. We also have adjustable beds. Become part of the family at Preston Family Pharmacy. It's not just their name, it's their philosophy. They treat you like family. Whether you've just left the hospital or a routine checkup, make Preston Family Pharmacy your neighborhood pharmacy your next stop. The friendly professional staff at Preston Family Pharmacy will make sure that you get the time and attention you deserve for all your pharmacy needs. Preston Family Pharmacy is currently accepting all patients. Preston Family Pharmacy, Route 7 across from Walmart, Kingwood. They'll take care of you like family. Castle and the Knights will own the ball to start the final period of this one. They trail 46 and it's 46-37. A nine-point deficit as Preston begins play here. Lance with a bad pass. And Tucker comes out of there all the way down, and another big three up on the glass. No good. Rebound and a quick turnaround. That's number 34, Snyder. He will go to the line. Four team fouls for Preston now. And that's number three for Jake Lobengood. So big Jake in a little bit of trouble here, foul-wise, if he's not careful. Luckily, they missed both free throws. Lance comes down. Had Livengood in the corner. Lance will pull up, take a shot off the rim, and they're going to get Park over the back. Looks like... Uh, Changes for the Knights. Lockery's back in. Piles is back in. Park commits his first personal. Full court pressure. And the ball out of bounds as they get a turnover. As Wesley Snyder mishandled that inbounds pass. Goes over to the Knights. Preston able to create a little bit of havoc there. But we turn it right back over as Lockery was trapped, had nowhere to go with it. Tried to force that pass in.
Better passing by Tucker. Long three taken by Ambrose. Too strong, but Tucker comes out of there with the rebound. Long shot resulted in a long rebound. Kind of got volleyballed around there a little bit. Tucker in position to take advantage of that ball. They're going to take the air out of it. La, no, that's Park with the rebound. Here they come. Oh, he saw Piles, tried to get the ball to him. Corey just couldn't pick it up. Just didn't come up. It skipped. Stayed down low, and Piles couldn't pick it up. Nice thought. He was wide open. Tucker going to air it out. They're spreading the court. Going to force Hayden Park to pick up a personal foul. 16 fouls now for the Knights. Matt uh, Thomas in the game for Preston. Nice box out by Thomas. He really put a body on 34 that time. Snyder get that rebound. Down low to Park. Park with a turnaround. He's fouled and will go to the line. Good job by Hayden Park to reverse himself underneath the basket. Tried to go up strong. And we'll go to the line. This is the second one. Thomas came down with the rebound. Now Lance will bomb one from outside. Andrew Lance. And all of a sudden, it's a five-point contest. The Knights closer than they've been. And Lance with another takeaway here. He's going to take it in, puts it on the glass, in and out. Thomas with another rebound. He's fouled on the putback. Nice change of pace by Lance, and he got a good look at that from the left side, but couldn't get it to drop after coming down on the possession before and draining a sweet three that had to give him some relief because he's been just off the mark. And the first free throw up and no good. Another fight for the ball. Preston comes out of there after the second miss. Thomas, way out of control, just loses it out of bounds. He plays so hard, he just, sometimes he just loses his footing. That's a double dribble. Actually, they palmed the ball a little bit. Another turnover. Knight's still in this, down five. Yeah, they're winning uh, the battle here as far as possession. They're getting all the 50-50 balls now. And a timeout called by Coach Koontz. He wants to talk about it a little bit. That comes at the 5-15 mark here in the final period. 46-41, Preston battling. And if they were shooting free throws well, Terry would be in the lead right now, actually. Uh, as they have struggled from the charity stripe. Well, and, and struggled uh, all over the floor here some tonight. Uh, good to see Lance get untracked a couple of possessions back there and finally hit a three. Uh, the Knights need more of that action and uh, still have got to find a way to get not just Lance but also Piles uh, into scoring positions. Uh, Got to keep Hayden Park out of foul trouble and let him do his thing under the basket because Jake Livengood with uh, a little bit of foul trouble is probably not going to come back in here uh, until we are down to about the final two and a half, three minutes. 
Knights only 11 for 22 from the free throw line. That's exactly what you talked about, Steve. They would have been in, in this game, probably in the lead, if they'd have made their free throws tonight. Well, and that's exactly what happened to them at Tucker County. Poor free throw shooting doomed any opportunity they had to win the game late. Thomas drives into the paint. Good. And he will go to the line. Strong attack on that basket by Matt Thomas. Matt, known not to be a very good free throw shooter. Yeah, one part of his game that he has struggled with all season. They call Hayden Park on a lane violation. So no points out of that. We get a timeout, Tucker County, 509. And Coach Jim Ambrose not happy with his Mountain Lions right now as they've let that lead. And they let him cut it in half. Well, the Knights have battled in what's been a physical game that uh, Tucker County has been kind of bringing it to Preston. Well, Preston's starting to fight back a little bit now. They're sort of uh, trying to declaw the mountain line a little, and uh, it's working. They're winning all the uh, challenges. They're getting the ball. They're just not scoring it consistently, and the free throw shooting has just literally become a nightmare here in the fourth period for Preston. Well, Matt Thomas has really came in and gave the Knights a spark in the rebounding category and in the hustle category, but he's just he's not able to hit the free throws when he gets to the charity strike. Struggling at the line. Oh, making it difficult here for Preston. Now they go long, streaking down the floor. All the way for a layup. They caught him sleeping, Brandon Zirk. Knights were intent on applying a little bit of pressure and getting in a fight for that ball again. And you can't just bomb one up and go one and done here late. And Hayden Park commits a foul. And that'll be number three for Park. With just under five minutes to go in regulation. Snyder good on his first free throw. And they stretch that lead back out. They had it down. A quick timeout by Coach Ambrose. And a little talking from him gets the life back into the mountain lines. He kind of settled them down and reminded them, you know, what he wanted them to do and, and what they were doing that he didn't want them to do. Long shot taken. Rebound. Park. Park up on the glass twice. And he's finally they call a foul and he'll go to the line. That was on Snyder, 34. Yeah. A lot of bodies flying around in under there and Hayden Park crashed into a couple of times there and finally on the uh, third attempt he's able to draw the contact and get the whistle to blow. And that's Snyder's fifth personal foul. He's been a big part of their offensive boards tonight. Well, he'll set and as he goes out, Jake Lavengood comes back in. So the Knights go big once again. And they get it to seven. Knights with pressure. Full court press. Ambrose gets it in. They'll get it down low. They know Tucker's trying to take all the air out of the ball. Now they turn it over. As Lockery and I believe that was Zerk 
battle for the ball, but it was a backcourt violation. Ball back to the Knights. Good hustle by Preston that time, creating the distraction and causing the unforced turnover. Good give and go from Live and Good to Lockery, but he couldn't make it stick. Ball was blocked out of bounds. Knights win bounce. Piles looking to get it in. He gets it into Live and Good. Nice turnaround shot. Oh, soft up on the rim. Just wouldn't stick. Wouldn't drop down through the net. But Live and Good will get to the line. Cut into this lead just a little bit more. First one up and good. Jake takes his time and bends those knees. And yeah, good free throw shooter. Struggled a little bit in the first half initially, but then kind of found the range. Oh, and we say that, and that one goes in and out. Preston gets the call. So Corey will inbounce right under his own basket. Gets it to Park. Park's going to take a shot from the baseline. A little strong. Rebound is out to the Mountain Lions. Full court pressure by Preston. Ambrose kicks it in. Back come the Lions. A drive to the hole, and Live and Good has to foul Brandon Zerk, who tried to, I think if he'd just let him go, he'd have never made that shot. It was just, he was trying a circus shot, and uh, Jake bit on it. I don't believe there's any way he would have put that in. And when he misses the first free throw. Still down six. Only a couple trips down the floor. If Piles and Lance can get uncorked. Lockery drives. And they, they tried to trap him really quick. He wasn't ready for it. Took that extra step. And another turnover by the Knights late in the ball game. Very costly. Now run out the other end. Ambrose just lays it up. They're just getting beat. Down the floor. Nine point advantage. Had it to five. Lima good back. Nice shot. Just tips it over the front end of the rim. Tucker glad to take some air out of this basketball. Miles with a little push, has to put Zerk back on the charity stripe. Time running out, 3.15 remaining. Zerk, that's his fourth point of this fourth period. Park will come out. Into live again, another quick turnaround, good. I always said if Jake Live and Good could play three other quarters like he plays his fourth quarter, he always seems to settle down right in the fourth period and start racking up points. Tucker spreading the floor. Knights daring them to take that long shot. Tucker will run every second off the clock if they let him. Now we get a five second call. He didn't move forward.
Good call by the official. He wasn't making any forward progress. He has to go beyond the three-quarter court line. Back to Piles. Piles gets it out to Lance. Lance down to Piles. He's going to take a shot. Good. Inside the three. We'll give him a two. Corey Piles. And Tucker comes right back down and trades baskets. Not what the Knights are looking to do. Down to Lockery. Lockery takes a three. Big three by John Noah Lockery. And that'll bring the immediate timeout. He wrinkles the nets. Knights have had it to five twice. They've got it to four now. The closest they've been since early in this contest. One forty-five on the big coastal drilling east clock. Down to our right as the Knights huddle. Can't thank those folks enough for helping donate the scoreboards here at Preston High this year. As the yes, others indeed. Stepping up when the Knights had a big need and uh, coming in and, and uh, putting new clocks up here in the castle, and that is a, a big and costly expense for any school. All right, Knights have their instructions. Tucker yet to break the huddle. And I'm sure that Preston is going to try to put every bit of pressure they can on this inbound. See if they can force a turnover and get this to a one possession contest. And they throw deep. Oh. And they find a guy wide open. I don't know how he got that pass down to Zerk. It was a baseball pass from one end to the other, and somehow mm -hmm. Zerk comes down with it, and they're forced to foul him. Yeah, obviously something that they practice and practice and practice because they are very good at it. Second time tonight that they have used that. And a lot of teams at this level won't even try that. No. Zerk misses on yeah. his front end. Is that good on the second? Knights need to capitalize, and now we get a foul. That's a good call on Zerk. That puts Lance to the line. And that's number five on Mr. Zerk, so that's two out of the game. And that's a big hit for Tucker County with a minute 39 remaining. Plenty of time. Lance good with the first. Back to four. And now it's a one possession contest. They go deep and they try to get the ball cross court to Ambrose. And it's stolen by Livinga. Ethan brings it to Lockery. Lockery child tried to get it in to Jake Livinga. But somehow he comes out of there with it. And now we get a timeout. Preston. With 118 remaining, 58-55. What a scrum that was, Steve. Yeah, indeed, and the Knights uh, benefit because Jake Livengood on the floor had the presence of mind to grab that ball up and not move anything but his hands and upper arms and pass that ball out, get it safely out of there, and preserve uh, a possession that looked like it had been lost due to a, a bad pass.
So Preston has the ball on the attack. They're trying to get it inbounds. They get it to Piles. Lockery sets the offense out front. Gets it to Lance. Lance looks. He's being guarded closely out front. And a turnover by Piles. Leads to a run out the other way. Rebello almost blocked it. He came out of nowhere. Yeah, no quit in Monty Rebello. Now Piles will take one from the corner. Good! Big three-pointer. They needed that. Now it's a two-point contest. And a quick foul will put polling to the line. Yeah, 40.4, and they want to test polling's ability to shoot the free throw. He just came off the bench just a little bit ago. He's a hard charging player for the. And he misses the front. Short off the front of the rim. And the Knights may have made a very good decision to commit the early foul here and leave themselves with plenty of time for a couple of possessions. Misses both, and Park just came in the game, comes down with the rebound. Here comes Lance. He's going to pop. No good. Oh. Park had the rebound. Yeah. Tucker was over his back. Yeah. And they, and they gave the ball out to Tucker County. And that's going to put them back to the line, and that's going to put their best shooter to the line, Mr. Ambrose. 60-58 with 30 seconds remaining. He Not the guy you normally want to foul, but he short arms that one off the front of the iron. And there's still life in the castle for Preston here. Good on the second. Here we go, 27 seconds and a timeout called by Coach. Knights have worked it down to a three-point contest here. Cannot afford to be sloppy with the ball. And at this point, can't afford to have any more uh, free throw experimentation on the other end. Don't have to have a three here, but need to get a good look. And can't ignore any of the open shooters. That last offensive rotation for Preston Terry. John Lockery got open again deep in this right corner where he buried a three earlier, but nobody saw him. And for Preston, they cannot overlook anybody that may have an opportunity to put one in from the perimeter here. Oh. Stolen on the inbounds and an easy run out for two. Now another steal and a quick foul. That pretty much will end it for the Knights. 16.8, 17 seconds on the clock in Tucker County. Fighting back to take control of this one after the Knights nearly steal it away with a late charge. And again, Tucker. Not winning any free throw awards here in the late going. I think the Knights have worn them down, but not worn them out. Ethan Live again checks back in. Had it down to two. Still in the game. I got 16 seconds. I got to put something up fairly quick. Step back, in and out. Fight for the rebound. Get it to Live and Good. Live and Good's shot's blocked. And that's pretty much going to end it. That's 1.3 seconds. Park had the foul. They call it an intentional foul. 
64-58, Tucker County will take this series home back to Tucker County after winning both of these contests against Preston. In a year in which both of these teams struggle, the Knights struggling to try and uh, put things back together and get on the winning track. Tucker County kind of going in the other direction this year, not, uh, not having the best of years. But getting a couple that have to be big victories over Preston. And that'll kind of be the rising tide that lifts their boat a little here as we wind toward the middle of January and we come to the end of another Preston Knight varsity contest. The Knights coming up a little short, 66-58, the final score. But uh, it was a two- or three-point affair down the stretch. Inside the final minute and a half, the Knights had every opportunity to uh, get this one back. Just couldn't quite get over the hump, get it done. Well, changing the culture, trying to get the uh, Preston Knights on a winning track, something that uh, Coach Paul Koontz said he was going to do and uh, will continue to try and do here uh, as this season continues on. Preston, though, uh, drops this contest. Just two wins here on the season thus far. We'll uh, move on in conference play. We'll try to get back on track here. Big games coming up. A uh, big one in the castle uh, next week against uh, Morgantown High coming up here. And uh, it'll be a challenge for Preston the rest of the way. We'll be here to bring them to you from the castle for Terry Cochran, for our chief engineer and camera operator tonight, Bob Meisner. For our executive producer back at the Mountain Digital offices, Denise Blake, I'm Steve Blake. We thank you, as always, for tuning in here on your hometown TV station, and we bid you a very good good night.